Hundreds gathered in Paris to show their solidarity with Greece, supporting Athens' resilience in fighting the harsh bailout conditions now being demanded. The protesters were mainly from France's left-wing parties. The Prime Minister is calling for Greece to be respected, to make sure it stays in the Eurozone. None of us knows the consequences of a Greek exit from the Eurozone, neither politically nor economically. So we should do everything to ensure Greece stays in the Eurozone. Do everything while respecting Greece and democracy, but also European rules. The Greek government should come back to the table and negotiate. Well, financial commentator Jim Rogers is with me now to discuss the situation further. You're very welcome to the programme once again. Greece's government is campaigning for a no vote in the referendum. If Greece rejects the European money, what would this mean for the rest of Europe? Well, actually, it's a lot. it means a lot to journalists like you because you have to report it. But <laughs> Greece is a tiny, tiny part of the European economy, and it's a, nothing. It's insignificant for the world economy. It's a lot of headlines, a lot of noise, and it will cause the markets to be disruptive for a while. But three months from now, none of us will remember if Greece goes bankrupt. Greek banks will stay closed for a week. That's another big news story coming out. How is that going to affect the economy there? Well, of course, it's going to affect it badly. If you cannot get any money, you cannot spend it. And we're not, not reverting to a barter economy yet, anyway. But no, of course, the, the Greece, Greek economy is going to collapse this week and probably for a while. People are terrified, and you would be too. So would I. What about the overall picture here? Greece blames the EU for the debt crisis, but its finances and policies have been in a really bad state since joining the euro, really, surely you should take some responsibility. You know, the Greek economy has been in a bad shape for about 190 years. This goes back to when they became independent a, a long, long, long time ago. No, you're exactly right. This economy has been having recurrent crisis since they joined the EU. This has been going on for several years now. If you ask me what they should do is just go ahead and go bankrupt, get it over with and start over. But all of this calling names and blaming it on other people is not going to do any good. Citizens are being restricted to withdrawing only 60 euro a day from their bank accounts, as I said, for at least a week. Do you think they're going to reject the EU's terms come Sunday? No, I'm sure they will accept the, uh, No, they will. Yes, they will reject the mm -hmm. EU's terms. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure they will. The problem is, Union, this means it's the citizens of Greece who are going to be suffering, and the bailout is for the banks and the financiers. What they should do is, I say, let the banks go bankrupt. They made the loans. You and I didn't make the loans. Let them go bankrupt and start over. Yeah, fascinating few days ahead. Financial commentator Jim Rogers, thanks very much for joining us on RT International this hour.